how does it feel compared to your other playoff opportunities going into game one when you were in New Orleans? Oh, very different. Um, you know, I think in New Orleans, most of the time we, we were the underdogs. Um, you know, here, uh, we were the favorite. So uh, I think that's the biggest difference. And uh, I think that the, the target is a lot bigger, you know. And when you're an underdog, you know, you, you get wins and winning games that you're not supposed to. Um, you necessarily don't have a target on your back, you know, but when you're the favorite, uh, I think, you know, the pressure is more on you to win games than the other teams. So, um, you know, I think, I think that's a lot of the biggest differences. How do you feel about that pressure? I'm fine with it. Um, no, no problem for me. Um, makes it a little bit more exciting, more fun to go out. We got six feet away, man. Uh, you know, more, more exciting for me to go out and, and try to compete and, and, um, you know, all the pressure that people talk about, you know, for our team, um, just trying to go out there and bring them wrong. Paladin? Um, this is Bob. Uh, Portland has changed so much because they get Nurkic back, they get Collins back. Um, I mean, do you ever think about how some of these teams have sort of been able to sharpen their knives with, with the hiatus and and how do you process that? Oh, uh, they're a good team. I mean, you know, we're able to, you know, get guys, you know, healthy and, and, you know, kind of get a break as well. So um, everybody came into the goal starting from square one. You know, it's, it's, it's NBA, you know, you know, new thing, the whole new season. It's, it's a different season. So um, you know, they're a good team. You know, like you said, add a couple guys back. So um, obviously, you know, their team looks a little different from uh, before the hiatus. But, uh, you know, we got time to prepare and plan for them and, you know, try to go and get the win. Tanya, have you guys spent much time looking back on your games earlier this season against them, or is it more focused on what they've done in the bubble because of how different they are than what Yeah, I mean, we watch a little bit, but it's, it's more so focused on what they did here. But that team is a lot different um, than when we played them. You know, when we played, they didn't have Nurkic. Um, Collins was out. Uh, I think they had Ronnie Hood some of the time. So, um, you know, the, the team is a lot different. And so we have to focus on the, the nine games that they played here in the bubble and uh, while still looking at what we did do to get those wins against them during the regular season. There's, there was kind of this narrative building in the bubble that, like, this is going to be a tough team for the Lakers. Um, what do you think about that sort of narrative that's running? Oh, they were playing well. They were playing extremely well. Um, you know, they, they did everything, you know, in their power to make the playoffs. Um, they're a good team. Um, they're hot right now. So uh, it's definitely going to be a test for us, you know, but a good test, but uh, we're going to be ready to go out there and compete. Anthony, what were your takeaways with kind of everything in play with this season restart for you with just the new environment, the performance, and just how teams try to defend you? What, what's your takeaways from those different things? Um, teams are trying to double me, and uh, which is fine, you know, making the right plays out of the double team and making sure our guys are ready to make plays for themselves or others. and. Um, knockdown shots. Um, that's the biggest thing for us. We just shoot the ball extremely well um, in the seeding games, but um, you know, we if we find our rhythm offensively where we're making shots, then the double team has to stop. So, um, you know, obviously it's, it's playoff time, guys. We're going to teams are going to lock in and make adjustments, and you know, we're going to make adjustments as well. And um, you know, it's it's more about me being more more aggressive now. Um, that's a playoff to to come complete our goal. Yeah, well, that's a few from Zoom. Hey, AD, it's Dave. Um, what's Dame Lillard's reputation around the league amongst his peers, and how do you view playing an opponent uh, led by Dame Lillard? Um, he's balling right now. He's hot. He's doing whatever he's doing. Um, you know, whatever he can do to make his team win. You know, he's scaring the low by a ton of minutes. Um, and so, you know, he's had a snake break team. Um, and you got to do the best to contain him and take away some of his tendencies. Um, but they also have other guys to make plays as well. So they're a tough opponent. Um, but everybody knows what, what level he's on in his mindset. And, and that's to go out there and do whatever he can to help his team win. Hey, D, when you go back to your uh, series against uh, Portland a couple years ago, you mentioned you were underdogs. Um, how pivotal was Rondo in that series against, against their guards? And then do you feel like your experience against them in the playoffs is relevant to going into this series now? Uh, Rondo was huge for us. Um, you know, they're able to break down their offense and, and their defensive schemes. And 
um, kind of just lead guys on the floor um, during that series. So he was a big part of it. And, you know, he's not going to be on the floor with us, but he's going to, you know, be there helping us out. So that's a, that's a good sign. And um, I think my experience helps, but they're a totally different team. Um, our game plan in New Orleans for them was totally different because uh, their team was totally different. So, uh, you know, we can look back on it a little bit, but um, their team then and now is totally different, which uh, doesn't even apply to this series. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.